for yeah, safety the team. That's the one thing. Walk away. Flaps right. coming we'll up, and there he goes. He was able to get back on the track and drive it to an 18th place finish. <laughs> that is fun. <laughs> and of course, the donuts by Kyle Busch. He wound up uh, uh, by winning this race. This uh, by, by winning this race. It's amazing well. what these guys are able to do with these yeah. cars and control them. But also, what, what do they go up? 200 plus. At 200 plus miles, especially like when they're in the draft and they're you know cutting through the air. But average speed probably like during that during that flip probably about 180 miles an hour. Oh, that's unreal. He he drove it and walked out of that. I guess he's yeah. checked out. He's fine. fine. Yeah, he's fine. That's unreal. If they can make every car on the road like that, you could think you they imagine? would? You, you think they would be able to do that? Because of oh. course they take a lot of technology from these racetracks, especially yeah. Indianapolis, and and use them on street cars. But uh, you know. They're, not, they're never going to be as safe as NASCAR's. All right, take me to Miami. We're not necessarily talking about the game here, but a lot of people wanted to go to the game this to was see a, their beloved Heat. Yeah, I've done some crazy things in my lifetime, TJ, like some things I can't talk about. <laughs> uh, but, you know, there was a contest. The Miami Heat had a contest where fans had to sit in, the sa in their same seat for 48 hours straight. It started at 11 a.m. on Thursday, ended yesterday at 11 a.m. They had to sit in the same seat for 48 hours straight. They had bathroom breaks every four hours for only five minutes. They were brought in food, but at the same time, while they're waiting, all these food trucks were around them, cooking up this food. So you know it was driving them nuts. And by uh, by 10:30 yesterday, there were still 35 people wow. remaining. And and the object here, the winner would receive two lower bowl seats to all home playoff games this oh, wow. year. So it was certainly worth it. And the gentleman out of uh, out of Miami won. And that's for the game itself. Of course, now is when the real test begins for the Miami Heat. LeBron James saying that. You know, with the big three, anything less than an NBA title is not going to be great. So, of course, we saw them struggle a little bit yesterday against the Sixers, but they still pulled it off. It's going to be interesting to see how the rest of the series Just goes. Just game one, but he's already yes. promised seven championships in Miami, right. so he needs to start somewhere. Right. Good, good to see you, good my see man. man. Thanks. As always. Uh,